More unboxing. Got this thing in the back. Oh, it is my shims. That's crazy. These like weigh nothing. Eight degree shims. I did research just to see. Actually, now it's kind of bright. We're exposing. There we go. So I did research to see actually what would be best, or it should get rid of my vibration in my drive shaft. I think that's the problem. Uh, this I'm excited about. This was a big decision. This is like reflective. Aha. It's like foam. I thought it was gonna be more like a carpet. It's like a styrofoam kind of. Like I'd be, I'd be afraid I could tear this. It's literally like foam. Like look, like look at that. It's like foam. Definitely different, but it's padded, so it's like cushy. And then on here, it almost feels like a carpet, but it's actually literally, it's literally like a foam. Like I'd be afraid I could tear it. Probably could tear it, so I'm not going to. Here we go. So that was bed rug for the front end of the Jeep. I want to try to insulate the Jeep as much as possible since I'm going to be living in it. Sleeping, I do not do good sleeping in heat. I can do good sleeping in cold. It's heat. I cannot do, I cannot sleep good in heat. So what is up everybody? I actually had kind of a late start this morning. One o'clock was when I got out of bed. Uh, 1 p, 1 p.m. I actually was up till I think five o'clock. I know I just like I just reset my sleep schedule and I just unreset it. The thing is is I was working on Patreon actually. So Patreon is like this platform where you're able to like support someone like if you're watching a streamer or a YouTuber of any kind and you want to help support their content you can actually go in and like I have it personally for mine I have it set up right now where if you pay me three dollars a month or you could pay me five dollars a month or even like um, I have one setup where you can actually pay me $15 a month, which is huge for me I actually don't expect that to happen anytime soon But if you do that I shout you out in my video and so I was just kind of setting that up and best I can do is shout you out And then I was trying to think of some other ideas if anyone has any suggestions of like things I could do for you I would like to have like a mini community like anyone who supports me on patreon I would love to just you know do like little questions and answers there you know, get to know the people who support me. I think that would be really cool. I'm trying to figure out how the platform works. I was messing with that last night, trying to see exactly how it works. So in case somebody wants to support me, I can, you know, help them and whatever, talk, chat with them or, so just, so that's just what I was messing with, trying to figure out that stuff out. Cause I think that's going to be really helpful in the future. So I wanted to fly the drone this morning. It's my brother's day off work. I wanted to go back to where I took the video footage before where I lost the videos. I was so bummed out about that. I really wanted to get those videos cause that's like a beautiful, there's so many beautiful trees there and stuff where you could get amazing drone shots. So I wanted to take the drone back there this morning, but I was tired. So I wasn't awake and then it was raining anyway. So, but I'm thinking maybe this afternoon we might go out there again if he wants to go. It really depends on what's going on, but I really do want to get some really cool shots with the drone. Yesterday I was also watching video tutorials and different things like how to fly your drone and how to get better shots with your drone but make better video because I really want to improve the quality of my video. So I was watching this video and it goes into color grading and I'm like, I color grading, I can't do that, you know, I don't have the right thing. And then I was like, wait, no, I should be able to color grade. So I looked it up, how to color grade in Filmora. That's the software I use is for Filmora 9. It was so stupid easy. I, I don't know why I've never done it before. Like I've made so many videos where I was like, man, I wish I could correct this. Like the image, like the picture was just crummy. And I was like, man, if I could just, you know, give it some contrast or something, make this image better. I'm like, are you kidding me? Now, granted, it would take a lot longer for me to make videos and then add contrast and stuff to it to color grade it, but the quality of the video would come out so much better. I didn't know I could color grade in Windows Share for more, and now that I know I can, I'm gonna have like these videos and I'm gonna like, I might even just color grade this one just for the fun of it. Maybe not, maybe I'll just leave it the way it is. But I was like, are, are you, in, are you, are you, I, I also learned this. I was doing some other research and I feel really dumb for not knowing this. To people who don't know, now, so I'm going to teach you something here. If, if you're trying to make videos, this is something I just learned. Shoot at 24 frames per second. Not 30, not 60. 24. Apparently that's more cinematic. And I remember hearing that before, but for some reason I thought that that was just like, you know, do it because it's easier or whatever. But I guess 24 frames, I actually think I'm shooting 30 frames per second right now. So I need to correct this. The only time you use 60 frames per second is if you're doing slow motion. 
this is all stuff I just learned and like I feel like I've probably heard it before and it just kind of like went in went in one ear out the other and I completely forgot but now I know 24 frames per second is more cinematic so I'm going to correct that on this device that I'm using right now because I, I guess I haven't done it before and um I'm going to figure out what I'm doing today. It's already... Holy cow, it's already like 3 o'clock. So yeah, I'm behind today. Guys, check this out. So in case you don't know, I made my own little company. I love to take pictures of nature, so I decided to start my own little company. This is what I started. It's called Nature Shots. I make coffee mugs, stickers, and t-shirts for you to purchase. Uh, I have a link down below if you're interested in any of those. I actually have a lot of pictures I really need to edit. Um, with my new computer, I don't have Photoshop. I was using my mom's, so I'm thinking about buying pro Photoshop so I can get to work on those images, and then I'll have new pictures. But every picture is going to be the same format. It's going to be on a t-shirt, on a coffee mug, on a sticker. They're all going to be exactly the same, just a different picture of nature for each one. Well, I bought my brother a shirt, and it took forever to get here. And I told them, like, it's been like two months where it's a shirt, and they were like, you know, just wait for it. Can you contact the people at the warehouse to see if they can, you know, find it and ship it or whatever? And they said, unfortunately not, so we'll just make you a new one. And I was like, okay, you know, I don't, you know, I understand. It wasn't their fault, but still, you know, where's the shirt? Well, they made a new one, and then like three days later, it somehow they found it, and I guess they just finished sending it. Well, they already made the new one, so I get one too. Check it out. That's assuming it fits. It might not fit. That is awesome. All right, so this is the shirt. This one, I'm gonna put it on real fast. I'm a little biased, but ah, these shirts are so cool. I, like I said, I am a little biased, but I mean, look at that. Nature shots. I'm gonna take it off now. It's suggested that you wash it before you put it on, cause, oh, it's itchy. All right, what's up guys? We're going to grab chorizo now. So, my aunt's here, they got the little puppy, and my mom is actually taking pictures of my cousin for her photography stuff, so she's doing model shots. But I want to grab reflective for the Jeep. If I'm gonna be living in the Jeep, I want Reflectic. I keep calling it Reflective, it's Reflectic. So I'm gonna run to Lowe's, see if they have it. They said they have it online. And, and, now we're at Lowe's. And, and, so I should have really written a list of things I need. I know I need Reflectic. I need to look at the wood stuff and then, let's see, it'd be like 3M spray on adhesive. I really don't know. I should have written it down when I watched the videos. supposed to be a fast and easy job but I have no idea where Reflectic would be that's why I can't find it 52 awesome thank you employee says look at the end of 52 down on the right I think I see it this is what we need Reflectic insulation this should be enough got it all set that took a lot longer than I expected, but I got dinner. I am making everyone chorizo and eggs, and it's going to be amazing. Chorizo and eggs always hits the spot. That was amazing. Well, now I just want to show some of you guys the progress on the Jeep, and for anyone who hasn't seen my channel before, this is the Jeep that I'm more or less converting into a van life build. So, if you saw the previous episode, I started prepping everything for paint. I have pretty much everything done. I need to actually prime this bare metal. There are a couple places I need to touch up. As well as just, you know, covering up the windshield, different things to try to prevent any spray over from getting in. I actually sprayed another layer of bed liner in here. I cleaned up some spots where it started to rust and then just sprayed all that in. I also sprayed over clear coat protective to hopefully help prevent it from scratching up anymore. But most of that is not going to matter because I just got that bed rug. So that bed rug is going to go all in here in the bed as well as that wood paneling. I plan on putting all that insulation and paneling right here to hopefully help prevent some of the noise. Now I know that kind of kills some of the mood because it's not as, you know, robust and Jeep-like. But the way I see it, it is still pretty extreme just trying to squeeze in a two-door Jeep. So it wouldn't hurt to try to add some insulation. I don't want to, you know, be completely miserable. And the more comfortable I am, the longer I'm going to be on this trip. And then I still need to wash the Cherokee. <laughs> and that's actually all that's going on today. It was kind of a short day. I woke up at 1 o'clock. Uh, already messed up my sleep schedule. But I have like so much work to do on the Jeep now. 
now that I have all the parts, I'm hoping that I can start to get to work on that tomorrow. I have more than enough stuff to do, so might as well crack down on it. I didn't get to use the drone like I wanted to. Maybe I'll try on the weekend, take it out. I really want to get some air shots. But if I hurry up, I can still catch this sunset.